All right, so the problem is, what is the empirical formula of a compound containing 20.2% aluminum and 79.8% chlorine? First step, as always, write down what the problem gives us. It gives us 20.2% aluminum, and let's say we had 100 grams. If we have 100 grams and 20.2% is aluminum, that's 20.2 grams. Okay, and that is aluminum. So that's one thing that we got. And then as well, we have 79.8% chlorine. Again, say we had 100 grams, that would be 79.8 grams chlorine if we had that exact percentage. So starting with these two grams for these two elements, we need to now convert these to moles because moles relate everything together. So we are going to convert grams to moles. We're going to multiply by our conversion factor, our fraction, where on the bottom we are going to use the unit of what we're starting with and on top we're going to use the unit of what we want. So we're going to have moles over grams. How many moles? One mole. How many grams? Well, it depends on the molar mass of what we're talking about. We're talking about aluminum. So we're going to use the molar mass of aluminum, which is 26.98 grams. Okay. So punch that in our calculator, and we get that. 20.2 grams of aluminum is 0 0.7487 moles. Okay, and our units canceled out. Goodbye grams, goodbye grams. Let's do the same thing for chlorine. We're going to multiply by our conversion factor. We're going to have grams on the bottom, moles on top. How many moles? One mole. What is the molar mass of chlorine? Well, we got to look at our periodic table. And we're going to find that for chlorine, we get 35.45 grams. Do our math, and we get 2.2511 moles. Oh, and I can't forget, we canceled out our grams. So now we have our mole relationship between these two elements, but these numbers don't look that good. So the next step is to divide by the smallest of the two numbers. So we're going to divide both of these by the smaller of the two, that being 0.7487. And again, down here, same number, 0.7487 moles. Okay, we'll do our math. For aluminum, we're going to get exactly one because it's the same number on top and bottom and moles cancel out. For chlorine, we are going to get 3.0067. And then for the last step, we round 3.00672, to right about 3, okay? And we don't have to round 1 because it's perfectly 1. So our final answer, oh, and remember we got to cancel out moles. So our final answer is going to be AL1, which we're not going to write, CL3, okay, 3 coming from there. Final answer, ALCL3. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.